Hey, Connor. Hey, Kira. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm splendid. You want to know why? Why? Because DP News starts now. are right around the corner. Thanksgiving and Christmas mean time for family and a lot of great food. We would like everyone to have the supplies they need for a great meal. That is why next week and next month we will be having the canned food drives to, dona to donate to the food bank and the Unity Shop. Let's go to Troy and Nick with the details. Hey, what's up? I'm Nick. And I'm Troy. And we have some information for y'all about the canned food drive. Bring your cans and non-perishable items to P2, the Career Center, and the office next to Maria's desk. By next Friday. Please. Thanks. Yeah. We love you. Mm hmm <laughs> Today in the Greek, we have a Thanksgiving-inspired pie walk. Come on down to the Greek to com and compete to win a free pie. Here's my activities co-commissioner, Parker, with more. Hey, guys. Today in the Greek, we'll be having a pie walk. That's where you guys walk around the circumference of a circle to music. And when the music stops, me and Connor will call out a color and the color that that person is standing on will be out. Last one standing is the winner, and, will, and he or she will receive a free pie. Remember, guys, Friday is pie day. You have a 3.14% chance of really liking this activity. It's no pie that it was an honor filling you guys in for today. I'm Carl Jesus, and Fridays are awesome. This weekend is your last chance to catch the DPTC's fall production, Alice in Wonderland. The last three shows are tonight at 7, tomorrow at 2, and tomorrow night at 7 in the EPAC. Tickets are $10 for students and $12 for general admission. Don't miss the play that has been described by BroadwayWorld.com as an ambitious and vibrant showcase of student talent based on comedy, whimsy, and mystery. Tomorrow, Saturday, November 15th, is not only Beautify DP, it's also National Recycle Day. With some more information about what you can and cannot recycle, here's your Environmental Concern Commissioners. Hey, Ethan. How's it going? Oh, hey, Will. God, you look great. Lost some weight? Yeah, I've been Lifting using, some? using the lap yeah. band, actually. I'm really enjoying it. It's been very productive. Well, it shows, man. Oh, thanks so much. We heard about what's going on this Saturday? Uh, no, but I do know that Point Loma of Nazarene University is an outstanding university. Mm -hmm. Got that right. Well, it's also Beautify DP from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., so make sure you're there. It's also National Recycling Day for the whole country. That's crazy. So make sure you remember to recycle. Yeah, Anthony Ochoa. <laughs> so, uh, what can you recycle besides bottles and paper? Well, you can recycle all metals and plastic bags. And remember, styrofoam is not recyclable. Mm -hmm. And your bottles must be all the way empty. <laughs> UCSB Research Mentorship Program is a six-week summer program that engages qualified high school achieving students from all over the world in university level research. And they will be here today for an informational meeting at lunch in room H33. Senior magazine sales are still going. If everyone sells one more, prom will be the same price as last year. All you have to do is sell just, just one, one more. more. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Jewish or Christian? Also, seniors, it's the time to get in those cute baby pictures in the yearbook. The deadline is at the end of November, so make sure to remind your parents to purchase an ad for you. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, DP. I'm Kira. And I'm Connor. Have a good Friday. Good morning, DP. I'm Ashley Cochran with your sports report. On Wednesday, 10 of our DP athletes committed to their future colleges. For swim, Alex Valente and Walker Bell are going to USC, and Regan Ecker is going to UC San Diego. For soccer, Tim Hajduk is going to Westmont, Julio Rubio to Seattle University, and Addie Willett to Cal State Los Angeles. For softball, Veronica Golvin is staying local for UCSB, and Lonnie Evans will be going, leaving for Iona. 
McKenna Goss is committed to Boston College for volleyball, and Jordan Williams is heading north to Sonoma State for water polo. Congratulations and good job to our fellow Chargers. Boys water polo had their first CIF game of the season yesterday against Villa Park. Our boys defeated them 11 to four, and Blake Parrish scored two goals, which allowed him to make the list for top 10 most goals scored in the Southern section. Good job, boys. The boys' quarterfinal CIF game is this Saturday away at Los Osos. Los Osos is the third ranked team in CIF this year, so hopefully our boys can pull off another victory. Cross country team will be heading to Mount Sac this weekend for CIF, prelimi CIF preliminaries. Good luck, guys. That's all I have for you today, DP. Have a great day.